Okay. So. Adultor atiendo luxiveritos. That's Latin. Do you know Latin? Um, I get asked this question a bazillion times. Now, most of you don't know, but my house is a friggin' library. I translate ancient Greek. I translate ancient Pali. I translate Romanized Sanskrit. I used to translate Russian. I lived in Russia. Um, what a great place to live. Not. <laughs> uh, the Russian people are fine. Nasty Asia Narodi, Krepki Narodi. You should translate that from the Russian. That's some tough stuff right there. Um, so, don't know Latin? Adatoratiando lux everitas. Yeah. Okay. Um, the question I keep getting asked uh, it's like, what does that mean in Latin? That's what someone's going to type. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like, learn Latin. Um, the brethren would know what that means. Um, he being asked a question, what books do you recommend? I've said before many, many times, like, there's a lot of ways to decipher. This is always in the way, but I use this on this table, right? There's a lot of ways to decipher what somebody knows or most specifically doesn't know, which is the case 99.9% .9 of the time about things as pertaining to hardcore platonic metaphysics. Now, m the word metaphysics today is BS. And I can tell you right off the bat that there's nothing I despise more than New Age crap. Let me repeat those three words again. New Age crap. Hate it. You know, like that, you see, it'll be in the bookstore, it'll say, and I never go to bookstores anymore because they only have crap. I have access to books that basically 99% of the world does not nearly 100% of the world actually, doesn't have access to. I mean, some really neat stuff. Even neater than this, but this is really good. I'll talk about this in a second. Um, metaphysics. You're like, well, you go to metaphysics. It's like, you don't have to turn metaphysica. All you find is a bunch of New Age crap. I have no connection to any of that stuff, so please don't even comment on New Age. I can't stand it as a hardcore um, Platonist and other things. I have no interest in discussing any sort of, you know, third eye, you know, you know, cleanse your chakras, uh, burn some, you know, don't even, sorry if that offends you, but I have no connection to any of that stuff and I want nothing to do with any of that crap. Nothing to do with it. Um, I keep getting asked questions about like, what do you recommend to read? I've got one person here is really awesome. Um, He's basically a disciple, and by the way, I own the rights, and I'm not the only one, but I'm only one of a handful of people, but it's granted to me by Rama P. Kumaraswamy, of his father, um, Anandikitish Kumaraswamy, who died in 47. Uh, his son was a heart surgeon and author himself, and uh, I talked to him many, many times, and he said that I have the rights to his father. His father was knew 16 languages, and uh, he was on the stamp of India and uh, head of the Boston Museum of Arts and he was a flipping genius. Friggin' genius. Now he did not know everything by far, but I mean he 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 knew there's nothing there is actually not a person other than this guy, I'll just use Venus and I'm gonna get to the stuff here in a second, recommend reading. That a person that's lived in the past two hundred years that uh, can actually encapsulate Ancient Wisdom and Truth. Um, A.K. Kumaraswamy was one. Um, please don't mention any other New Age people that I, I can't stand. You know, don't even mention any of those people. I don't even like to hear their name mentioned, much less the filth that they write. Um, but if you want something that is really awesome... By the way, the guy that wrote the foreword to this book, the foreword, Mr. Finnamore, I could tell you a story about this guy who wrote the story to Algis Udovini's book. Uh, he died, uh, not Finnamore, but Algis Udovinius died in 2008. Um, but I can tell you a story about this that if I told it to you, I can't tell it to you because you would never believe it. I've told a couple people the story, and it is totally unbelievable. So I can't tell you because it would make me sound like a crackpot. Um, but it's completely true. Uh, <laughs> if I told it to you, you would never believe it. Never. Never would you believe it. Um, you should figure out how to translate the Latin that I said the first part of this video. Anyway, uh, these are all available on Amazon.com. Both of these books actually are really cheap. 
This one, unfortunately, uh, is printed by, um, I'm not going to even mention the name of the people that printed it, because it's printed in England, and it's really hard to get, and it's kind of expensive. Um, but this is the best of the three, Philosophy as a Rite of Rebirth by Algis Uzavinis. Now, like I said before many times in many videos, I can tell what someone knows by the crap they recommend you read. It's like, wait, what? Hey, hey, Joe there, you know, what's some really deep stuff that, like, you know, you know, uh, like, uh, pushed you over the level intellectually into, like, a different dimension of comprehensional or a d uh, dialectic thinking? And, you know, I, of course, most people don't read stuff like that anyway. But, uh, hey, it's like, what's the deepest book? Anyway, you can tell what somebody knows by the crap they recommend you read. And as soon as they say something's like, yeah, you don't know anything. It's like, that's the best you could do. If that is, you know, your source for like, you know, hardcore stuff. I mean, stuff that is like, yeah, that's the next level stuff. And there's a lot of books out there. A lot. And, uh, oh, if you knew what I know about <laughs> the some materials, you'd be shocked. I've got terabytes and terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of books. Terabytes. Many, many, many terabytes of PDF books. I have personally scanned in. Oh my god, I've burned through over the many years, burned through many scanners, just wearing the scanners out. I got so good that I could work two scanners on two computers and one flip a page, flip a page. Anyway, um, these are cheap and available online on, I hate to say Amazon because I despise Amazon, so I recommend buying them off of eBay. I'm sure there are actually tons of these copies on eBay. You've never heard of this person, but I guarantee you that if you buy these uh, books, that uh, you will absolutely not regret it. You see, I put what I know on the line by saying I highly, highly recommend these books extremely highly if you want to know the hardcore but not stuff that'll warp your mind it's people see the problem I have in people that ask me this question over and over again is that I have two issues I got stuff that nobody else has access to you think that's boasting it's not I mean I got stuff that nobody else has access to and then there's the other stuff which people do have access to but it will warp their damn brains because, A, there's no good translation. Like, there's six translations of Plotinus, but none of them are any good. Nor are they accurate, because nobody knows how to translate ancient Greek and monistic metaphysics. They don't. They never did, because they were all academicians. Let me repeat that word. Academicians. In other words, you know, that's like getting... That's like telling... Uh, <clears throat> that's like saying... Well, here's a great analogy to make it really simple, Okay. That's like telling uh, some uh, hardcore atheist to like translate the Latin Vulgate. This is a person that has no investment nor any insight into what the hell is in that book. It's like you're going to have a person like that translate it. So that's what happens when you get academicians to translate hardcore dialectic Greek monistic metaphysics into English. You end up with crap that is... When you read the translation, you're like, this, this shit doesn't make any sense. You know, you, you know, why are you recommending Plotinus? It's like, that's not the original. It's a bad translation. So those are the two things, stuff that you don't have access to, stuff that will warp your brain and of which you, know, you don't have to learn ancient Greek, and nobody has the time to do that, do you? No, you don't. Nobody does. Everybody's working to pay the bills, you know, have a vacation, work your ass off, go home, <sighs> do laundry, you know, scrub your butt. You know, go to sleep, wake up, eat, go back to work. You know, there's no time for that for anybody anymore, unfortunately. See, society has de-evolved. You know, do you know, here's a hardcore fact. Do you know all this really, now this is recent, you know, he only died a few years ago. Um, but he's one in a billion. Actually, he's one in many billion, Algis Udovinius, that's why I'm recommending these three books. You know, all that really good stuff was written thousands of years ago. Do you know why? It's because they weren't sitting around worried about fucking bills and fucking scrubbing their undercarriage and buying the latest, you know, Adidas clothes and, you know, paying property. You know, all they had to do was eat poop and, like, you know, observe nature and they would think and write and think and think. Human mind hasn't changed any in many countless tens of thousands of years. People a few thousand years ago, exact same minds as humans today. They weren't preoccupied with the bullshit that you and I are preoccupied with.
I'm not as much as you are, to be sure. Um, so those are the three things. The stuff that you do have access to that is really good is insanely rare, and this is one of those things right here. So it's philosophy and, theurgy, uh, philosophy and theurgy by Algis Udovinus, Orpheus and the Roots of Platonism. Trust me, there is no way in hell that you would buy these books and regret buying them. You will really thoroughly enjoy yourself. I keep getting asked this question over and over again. I should have made this video months and months and months ago. Actually, probably well over a year ago. You can see this one has actually been warped to hell. I mean, I've been through this book over and over again. Uh, he was a Lithuanian guy, by the way. He was a huge dude with a beard. He basically looked... Um, <laughs> he looked like a a hardcore biker that's been in jail for murder, but he was not like that at all. It's just how he looked. Um, he died in his sleep in uh, 2008. Um, but this guy was a, a true uh, hardcore uh, monistic meta uh, metaphysician. And I use that word in its original denotation because the current connotation of metaphysics implies New Age crap that I absolutely despise and hiss and spit at. You know, I'm like a... They fling poo like a monkey when you talk about the connotation of the term metaphysics. So, um, this stuff is at the level that it is uh, deep enough that if you put your mind to focusing on it, you'll be able to comprehend it. Um, so, this is the perfect middle ground for someone that has a uh, a working mind, shall we say that, in a very light sense that you'll be able to grasp it um, so the other two materials like I said you a you don't have access to I mean that literally you don't have access to those materials number two you have access to it but you can't read it and the translations of it are no damn good and the third material is the well the first material is the most rare the third material is also insanely rare and it's stuff like this he didn't write too many books, but if you buy these books off my recommendation, you will not be sorry. Go look at uh, like the table of contents on Amazon if you want, and that'll tell you what's inside these books. I think this book is like nine dollars on Amazon. This is, I recommend getting off of eBay because Amazon is uh, is uh, pure evil. I can't uh, stand Amazon, so. If you're looking for true uh, spiritual metaphysics and hardcore early uh, monistic uh, ontological um, um, metaphysics, this is it. Egyptian slash uh, Neoplatonic uh, monistic metaphysics, which are all one and the same thing. You see, nothing is known except for the modality of the knower. So we're talking about different systems. They're not actually different systems. They're different ways of looking at a one and the same thing. It's kind of like someone looking at the sunny side of a building. Oh, it's all bright and silvery. Someone's looking at it from the other side. It's like, well, it looks like this. They're describing it completely differently. They're both looking at the same damn thing. As a nature of existential uh, uh, reification uh, due to perspective. And when you have perspective, then you have conflict. But you're both describing the same thing, like two people trying to, fighting with each other about, uh, you know, no, the coin has got a head on it. No, this coin's got an eagle on it. You know, no, it doesn't. It's got a head. They're both talking about the same fucking coin, right? So that is another point that I could, like, make a dozen videos on, on existential uh, reification. It's also a type of fallacy, too, a, a hardcore ancient... Uh, platonic fallacy that takes a long time to describe. Um, that's where we get into uh, um, disobjectification or the apophaticism of uh, dialectic engagement in trying to define uh, uh, monistic uh, comprehension. Not episteme, okay, not empirical knowledge, but gnosis, meaning wisdom. Not episteme. So, anyway, buy these books by Algis Utavinis. Um, I wish he was still alive today. I wish you had access to some of the works um, that nobody else has access to. <laughs> um, but even if most people did, they wouldn't comprehend what it says. But uh, this is the next best thing. The other next best thing is if you knew ancient Greek. Um, 
there's nothing uh, super awesome in Latin. Everything in Latin is stolen from the ancient Greek or Indian or from ancient uh, Egyptian. So there's nothing original. There's almost nothing original, I should say, in Latin. It's all taken from uh, the Greeks and the Indians and the Egyptians. That's why I let my Latin studies lapse so many years ago. But not Greek, nor Prakrit, nor Romanized Sanskrit. So here's my recommendation that everybody's been asking about over and over and over again. And uh, buy these books and you will not regret it. Okay? Lux y veritas. Bye. <laughs> Bum 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 b